Hello WordPress developers, brothers, sisters, everybody is working hard. I know everything is uh, uh, very, you know, uh, confusing nowadays. Uh, lots of plugins being updated. Uh, but one basic question which remains, and I repeat, it's a very basic question. And that is, how you change the footer credits in a storefront theme? Now to say that I have, we have a lot of uh, uh, plugins uh, available in the market. You can just keep on changing, uh, you know, the footer credits for the non-technical guys. But uh, let's see how we can uh, change the non-technical guys into a technical perspective. Now generally, the footer credits in a in a storefront theme looks somewhat like this. You have a copyright symbol, then you have my store, which is like the name of the store which you give when you're installing storefront. Okay, then you have the year. Now then you have this built-in with storefront and WooCommerce, you know, this line. Uh, generally, it's not advisable to change this because it's not it's not you who make this and the people who are doing it. But for your sake. I will show you how it is done. Let's head over to the appearance tab because I'm already there. If you're not there, you can just you know uh, click on appearance and then come over here. You'll see a list of themes. I've just installed storefront theme just to show you. I'm not doing anything extra over here, so I'm not going to go to customize. But instead, I'm going to go to the editor part. Now this is where it becomes a little bit uh, risky. If you are a non-technical guy, of course, even I am a non-technical guy, it doesn't matter. But I keep beating around the bush to find out because if you have interest in doing something, I know God has His ways to make you do uh, make you do that particular thing in a better way. Anyways, we, the, since our default theme is storefront, uh, when you click on the editor button, storefront editor will open up. Okay, so. You don't have to do anything else, just head over to INC over here and click on storefront template functions.php. Now, since you're working with functions, and this file is very important, so the first thing before we, you do anything else, the first thing you do is press Ctrl A and Ctrl C, copy it into your notepad editor and keep it aside if at all anything goes wrong. So, safety is number one priority that's how the russian hacker says right yeah, good uh, he does a lot of nice chemistry experiments uh, i like it i like that guy anyways uh, <clears throat> uh we have a lot of wordpress developers online you know they uh they are very good at it but uh no offense to you guys i know i, I have seen a lot of videos uh online and uh it, it is you who make me to work a little bit further to help others. So thank you for being there with us, with me, and with everyone else who is uh, having problems uh, looking at uh, certain solutions. It, it happens that maybe sometimes, you know, we, we uh, overlook things, but, and we tend to overlook things, but uh, your videos are just class apart, and thank you for that. Okay? Now, Let's move over to the main topic, what we were discussing. Now, this is the storefront uh, footer credit function, and this is where we're going to play around. Now, remember, whatever you are typing over here, make sure you change whatever is necessary. Don't beat around the bush, or else you will land yourself in trouble. And then again, you have to go back to the you know long process of taking out the theme file and modifying it <clears throat> so don't beat around the bush so the first thing is uh, what you see over here is that the uh, there is a div class okay and under uh, and within the div, div class you have the PHP codes now we will concentrate on the first line of PHP code now, we don't have to do much over here, but there is a name given over here. So we will change the name to, let's see, ABC INC. It's my example. You can put your name and just for tutorial purposes, I'm giving this name. 
it has nothing to do with my size okay all right so now the next bit of code which we're going to look at is this part now the hyperlink is already given so for the tutorial part I'm just going to type in google.com so if you click on the link then it will go to google.com okay and I'm going to change this part remember you, we are all working uh, we are working uh, within this uh, braces so uh, the, the uh, yeah the brackets or braces whatever you call them okay the quotation marks so don't go away from that and make sure don't, you don't delete any quotation marks never do that okay so we'll type in welcome to my movie store okay to exclamation marks okay this will show up when you hover over the hyperlink okay and uh, what we're going to do over here is we're going to change this built with a storefront and WooCommerce but I like to give them the credit so I will I will put a comma here and put a space managed by ABC INC I think this is much better so you update the file if everything goes well file update successfully if it does not then you are in a big trouble my dear friends so be very careful to keep a backup all right let's keep our fingers crossed and let's refresh this page you're on a products page but doesn't matter all we are bothered about is the footer credit okay let's see what happens oh I've kept my fingers crossed I always do that you know <laughs> every time it looks like oh my god it's going to crash so it's very important oh voila it's here you see this is how you change the storefront for the credits my friends and if you have any questions comment below if you have any new experiments to try out we are ready to do that as well please like and subscribe our channel a lot of uh, videos are going to come up we are a new channel please support us and uh, i also extend my personal thank you to all these uh, major WordPress developers uh, online who are making a lot of videos every day you know someone is telling my ninja forms are missing some are making a video about you know elementor plugins and I really appreciate all of you please help us to rise up the ladder as well and if you have any issues just let us know we will be happy to help you thank you so much